Now, Etiwi, I'm very fortunate this morning because joining me in studio are two beautiful wahine Māori who recently revealed all, yes, they revealed all, in the calendar for breast cancer awareness, Hinawehi Mohi and Anne Thorpe Te Nara Kōrua. Calendar Kia ora. girls, eh? Calendar <laughs> girls now. Any calls from Hugh Hefner yet? <laughs> <laughs> but this has been a very important cope up, uh, uh, breast cancer awareness. So, anyway, firstly, why we, why was it so important for you to be involved with this calendar? I think it's really important that um, women, particularly Māori and Pacifica women, who are, are more susceptible to um, breast cancer because we're not getting seen and tested early enough to make a difference. Mm. And if you do um, get yourself along to, to get checked, if you um, have an issue or if you're just having a regular mammogram over the age of 45, then it's really important to, to be vigilant about um, seeking treatment. Mm. And um, it's important to us to, to get that message out there to Māori women. Do we need to wait till 45 and over before we have mammograms? No, I don't think we should at all. I think um, even 40 is is not too soon. Yes, and gosh, because I'm only 35. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look nice and young in this. Look, here we go. Let's have a look at it. This is oh, when he shot. Oh, gosh. Here, here we go. Now she is wearing nothing <laughs> at all, but she is but holding a, a, a pūtōrino or a flute. Isn't that beautiful? This is where he mohi shot. She is Miss... <laughs> what are you, Miss? July. Miss July. She's Miss July. There you go. But yeah, Annie, what, what, why were you why were you so keen to be involved with the with the calendar? Well, uh, I'm a, 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 a breast cancer foundation uh, ambassador, and I've got messages for our Māori woman, and I like them to um, present themselves early for breast screening, um, forty even. Um, there, there is a problem that Māori women do not. Um, seek help early if they find a lump or anything. You've got to become more aware of your breasts and breast health and aware of breast cancer. So um, the New Zealand Breast Cancer Foundation have a resource, educational resource DVD where they follow the journey of five women and interwoven in that DVD and their journey of these women are the key messages of breast screening, breast health and and awareness of breast cancer. Mm. Now, before I ask Kinder Wehi her next question, let's just take a look at you because you are Miss March Ms. in March. our calendar. So, this is the shot here of Annie Thorpe. <laughs> this is Miss March. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Tell us about uh, the actual process because it's, there's a lot of body paint involved in this. And how was the actual process <laughs> of getting prepared for this, uh, this calendar? <laughs> Cold? <laughs> Standing there in my Ugg boots because I, I wasn't <laughs> quite um, prepared to go the full kahuna. There's only so much paint you can cover. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, there's a little bit of whakamaa involved. So mm. um, it, it wasn't altogether um, comfortable because you're just sort of standing there and you get a little bit... But sore, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing in the scheme of things because this is um, going to be a very powerful message, I think, for mm. women around the country and possibly, you know, further afield in terms of just having an awareness about your body and, um, and being safe and all of us coming together to support our loved mm. ones through, mm. through diagnosis and, and treatment so that we can be around for our babies mm. and, and our loved ones. Interesting you use the word whakamādi because that would be a barrier for Māori women to go and get mammograms and stuff, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, no, we've, they've, just, the, um, they've been researched to show that Māori women do not like mm. getting their gears off, basically. And, and that'd um, be part of the reason why Māori women are more likely to die of breast cancer than non-Māori women? They stump up too late. Mm. That's, that's the problem there. And the New Zealand Breast Cancer Foundation, uh, their primary aim is to get these women into um, breast screening places and get them more educated on um, how important it is to be aware of your breast health and breast and what breast cancer can do. Mm. Ultimately, you die from the disease yeah. if you've, you do nothing about you've it. You've both had your personal battles with breast cancer. How important was Fano support? Oh, huge. Oh, a year. I, I think without George and and the Fano and friends, it mm. would have been unbearable. Mm. So um, I, I feel really indebted for that that aroha and also um, it, it's frightening because you're not quite sure of, of what's going to happen mm. and um, there, there's little twists along the road and um, and 
you know, we're still not certain, you know, if, if the, the ultimate diagnosis will, will be completely 100% well, but um, um, I've been able to give myself the best opportunity for mm. survival, and that's the ultimate. Mm. And um, I think that um, Māori women um, need to gather together and, and get support from each other as well mm. uh, as their whānau. Very quickly, any key messages? Uh, Māori women need to do the breast health, breast screening and be aware of um, breast cancer. Mm. Thank you both very much for coming on the show this morning and ATB, you need to go out and purchase these calendars. The girls look absolutely stunning in these calendars. Where can they pick them up? Whitcalls, all good bookshops. Whitcalls. There you go, Whitcalls, and support the cause, breast cancer awareness.